I guess, Walt, just your overall your reaction, first of all. Well, on behalf of Mr. McDonald and the McDonald family, we, of course, respect the jury's verdict insofar as what they rendered. We don't do that. We don't question that. But there will be an appeal based on the matter because we think there were significant errors created by the trial judge. And while we respect the jury's verdict, we do disagree with the jury's verdict. What happens next in these uh, next two weeks? You, you made a point to say you did not believe he should be in custody, even though he has been convicted now. Well, until a sentence is until a sentence is entered in the case, that would predetermine what the judge is going to do in this case. So we asked for the statutory provision of the pre-sentence investigation to be conducted, and then we'll have a pre we'll have a sentencing hearing where both sides will be able to present whatever evidence they want to, in addition to what was presented in the pre-sentence investigation. He's 28 years old, he's married, uh, children? No children, married. This is, um, I guess, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I, I have to imagine these next two weeks are going to be, before your sentencing hearing, somewhat uh, challenging for such a young man. Well, it's been challenging for him since the whole time, since he was fired on April 13th, 2017. And like I say, he's always, He's cooperated with me fully. He's been a very good client. He's always appeared in court. He's always done what he was supposed to do. So it's weighed heavily upon him and his family. And y'all saw the extended members of his family that were here and that were supporting him. And I think they will continue to support him. What message, though, do you think this verdict sends to I'm not into messaging. I'm not a politician and I'm not a TV person. I don't send messages. I try cases. And do you think you can keep him out of prison? I hope so. I don't think he deserves to go to prison. Sergeant Bonji didn't get to go to prison. Do you think that that will play some factor in uh, the types of witnesses that you have for the sentencing hearing in terms of making that kind I of case? Have, I have not even reflected on what I'm going to do in the sentence, and I'm sure about 2 o'clock tonight I'll be thinking about it. Mr. Brood, I think you said uh, the trial or made significant errors in the trial. Can yes. you elaborate on what those errors were? Well, I think that the court made uh, significant errors, particularly as if you, you attended the charge conference, that he did not give lesser included offenses, that being as pointing a pistol at another on the aggravated assault and uh, the simple assault, which I think were warranted under the evidence and are part of the charge of the court, should have been part of the charge of the court. And as to the verdict form, I think that the verdict form was improper, and we submitted what we thought was the proper verdict form. There were a couple things in jury selection. There were two rulings at pre-trial that would be issue in that, and then there's a couple evidentiary matters. And I think one of the biggest thing is, is about the violation of the oath of office, because I don't think that the state ever proved in this case that what the oath was and what the terms of the oath were. And without that, I think we will appeal basically on that too, because I made, if you were here, I made continual objections to that, as to that, that the witnesses that were testifying, that wasn't proper for them to testify what they were testifying to. So the video seemed to make a difference I mean, before they were uh, struggling, they were agreed on two and uh, couldn't reach a unanimous verdict on the third. They watched the video. A few minutes later, they come back with a verdict. What does that say to you? I don't guess what goes over the jurors' mind. The state's down there talking to them now, and I'm going to send them a letter and ask them some questions in written form. That's the way I always do it, so I won't intrude upon them or anything like that. But the verdict is the verdict as far as that goes, and that's what stands here today. But, you know, the video was played. I think that the playing of the slowdown video was excessively harmful and prejudicial in this case. And uh, But the jury came back and asked for the real-time video, so that's what they saw, and that's where we'll go from there. Can you describe his mood when he heard that verdict? No, he was devastated. It's just simply, he was devastated. I mean, he held out hope. I mean, you know, he came here and you, you heard the witnesses testify. He was a perfect student uh, in the police academy. He was a good officer. He hadn't had any problems. He hadn't had anything happen, you know, and then this has come up and he lost his, he lost his ability to be a policeman. He's also lost his ability in this case to carry on with the, uh, uh, education, or he completed his education to go on be an aircraft mechanic with this type Why of Why did he, when it was all said and done, decide to go to trial instead Because of the state the never made an offer of any consequence. The state sole offer in this case, which is repugnant, their offer in this case was 10 to do 3 based upon what they sold out to Bon Giovanni in the district attorney's office. The district attorney ought to be ashamed of himself for that. What would be fair 
I to, don't, to I, you or to Mr. I think McDonald. what would be fair is that he would be placed on a period of probation. The way that his sergeant was? Yeah, not even that. Not even as much as what his sergeant got.